In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can make your own RNG game that comes with crafting, auras, admin commands, and more. By the way, I've made this kit completely free and it would mean a lot to me if you subscribe to my Patreon. Anyways, let's get into the video. Basically, I'm going to be splitting the customization into steps and you can see each step in the chapters of this video. But make sure you don't miss a step, otherwise the kit might not work for you. But for the first one, all you have to do is hold down Alt and press P and then press Create. Now, once your game is created, you want to click on Game Settings, Security, and then Enable Studio Access to API Services. This will just make it so once you load up the game in Roblox Studio, it will work straight away. So as you can see, everything works. You can craft stuff, you can roll, and yeah, it's working pretty normal. But this game's pretty boring and you probably want to add something to it. But to customize and add your own auras, all you have to do is go to Avatar, Rig Builder, and then click Block Avatar. And then once you have your avatar you can start creating your aura so if your aura you can add anything you want you can add parts you can add particle emitters beams anything and it should all work together let's just say i want this to be my aura so i'm gonna have one here one here and one over here the first thing i'm gonna do obviously is set transparency to one because i don't want that and then select all your parts that you want to be in the aura so i have these three parts i'm going to turn off can collide and turn on massless right make sure you don't have it on anchored otherwise it won't work and then hold down control and press G to group them together. Next, what you wanna do is import a new part and then select the humanoid root part of the rig and copy the position. Next, you wanna paste that position into the part and add a decal into that part. And then you want to select the front face right here. So face, select front, and then rotate the brick until that's actually facing the front. Then you can delete that decal and set the transparency of this part to one. Turn off can collide and you can leave massless. And for this part, you have to name it root part. Then place that in your aura and now you have to rig your aura together so to do this click the link in the description to download this rig editor and you can add a humanoid or animation controller to this so i'm just going to add an animation controller click on rig editor and press on the model so once you click on the model you want to click on the root part over here click on the part above it and then click on that part and then just go through the parts this is if you don't know how to rig. If you know how to rig, you can rig it however you want. Just make sure the root part is attached to one of the parts. So next we're gonna rename every part in case we wanna add an animation to this. So this part's on the right of the rig, so we're gonna call this right particles. This one's in the middle, so we're gonna call it mid particles. So once you have all of it named, you can basically make this into an aura already. So you could just call it whatever you want. So I'm just gonna call this one amazing. So next you wanna do is grab the aura and go into replicated storage, place it in auras folder, and then aura models, right? Now your aura will be ready to use, but all you have to do to actually script it into the game is go into this aura script and then set one of these placeholder names to the name of your aura. So this will be set to amazing because that's what I called my aura. And then once I roll, you'll see, there, we got it first try. Okay, I'm gonna click keep and yep, the aura works perfectly. So now we're gonna go through the aura script. Basically, I'm gonna explain what everything is. So each aura is split up by these brackets and a comma at the end. And the aura ID is the number on the left, which is the line of code that it's on. So infinity will have an aura ID of 22. Rare will have an aura ID of left. And you can set any of these values to whatever you want pretty much, except the one in chance, cause the one in has to be very specific. But you can change the text color to anything and and you can change the aura font to whatever you want. If you see one that doesn't have an aura font, then that means you'll just use the default one. But if you want to add aura font, just add comma, aura font equals enum.font, and then any font out of these. And I'll just choose that one. And then if you want to add a cutscene, then all you have to do is add another comma, and then cutscene equals one. So currently, I'm pretty sure I have two cutscenes. And you can do either cutscene one or two, but for this one, I'm just gonna have cutscene one. So if you wanna make customizable one in chances, all you have to do is take role manager two out of role manager and then delete the normal role manager and set the name just to role manager, right? And then you should be able to set the one in chances to whatever you want, but the maths won't really be accurate. So next, what we're gonna do is add animations to this aura. So we're gonna grab the amazing and put it back in workspace. And if you wanna add animations, all you have to do is make sure you have an animation controller in there and go into that animation editor and select your aura. For this animation, I'll just have it spin around. So as you can see, this animation works and what you wanna do once it's working, make sure it's on looped and click on these three dots publish to Roblox and then click save. Next, you wanna make sure to copy the ID and then you wanna add a folder into your aura named animations. And once you have the animations folder, you just wanna search up animation and then add it to the folder and paste in your animation ID. Once you do that, make sure to rename the animation to idle with a capital I and put this into your game and it should work. 
So as you can see, I load into my game, I go into my auras that I got before and equip it. And as you can see, it's actually going around in circles like I did in the animation editor. So now that we have a custom aura, maybe we want to add an idle animation to the character. This is where the rig comes in. So what you want to do is select the rig and then create your custom walk animation or idle animation, whichever one you want. So I'm just going to make an idle animation with their arms in the air so we can see that this actually worked, all right? So this is going to be the idle animation and make sure you have your animation on looped otherwise this won't work and you just want to click three dots like before publish to Roblox and and press save. Once it's saved copy the idea again and then go into replicator storage or as folder and then players animations. Next you want to add a folder and name this the name of your aura. So the name of our aura was amazing. So we're going to name this folder amazing and we're going to add an animation into here called idle with a lowercase i and we're going to paste in our animation id. Next we'll load into the game and see if it worked. So as you can see I have the aura equipped and it's playing the idle animation. Next I'll show you how to add morphs. So this is a pretty straightforward and easy process. All you have to do is get the rig that you want it. So I'll just set it as a default rig with a yellow head and a blue right arm, okay? So what you wanna do is rename the rig to the name of your Auras. So I'm gonna rename this to Amazing and next what you wanna do is place it in Auras folder and then Morphs. And once you have it in there, you should be able to click play and it should turn you into that morph. Now, as you can see, I equipped the Aura and it equipped the morph and the animation is still working. So hopefully that works for you too. Next, I'll show you something that everyone's been requesting is Aura sound. So if you want to add a song to your aura, all you have to do is add a sound and then set the sound ID to the sound that you create and then set max roll off distance to probably 50 and roll off minimum distance to probably 10. And you also want to turn on looped. Next, you have to rename your sound to the name of your aura. So as you can see, I named it amazing and if you load into the game, that would work, but I haven't got a sound for it right now. So I'm just going to delete that. Also, since heaps of people have been asking for this, to add R6 to it, all you have to do is click rig builder, R6, and then block avatar. And then go into server script, service, server script, and delete this animate and place the animate from the rig into the server script. Now R6 should work if you set your game to R6. Now I'm going to show you how to give yourself admin commands. So to give yourself admin commands the first thing you want to do is load into the game and then you want to go over to players and then click on your username and copy the user ID. Next you want to stop the game, go into server script, server, server script and scroll down to the admins and replace this ID with your ID. And this is where you can customize everything. So this is the inventory limit. So you could set this to 30, 40, 50, even one if you wanted. And you can customize all of these values. So, so yeah, do whatever you want with these values. Also, if you want to see all of the admin commands, you can see them right here. So we have slash give, slash give item, slash next roll, luck, reset. So reset basically resets the player's data. Luck gives the player a certain amount of luck for a certain amount of time. Next roll gives the player a specific aura for the next roll. Slash give item gives the player an item and slash give gives the player an aura. And if you want to remove the auras that I already have in here, you have to reset the player data. And to do this, all you have to do is like just add whatever you want to it or you can like remove parts. But I'm just going to keep this as player aura stats 18. And next we have crafting. So if you want to add an item to be craft, what you can do is go into items and then you can just copy the last one and paste it on the next line, right? And then you can name this whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this um, Mega Potion, right? And the description will be Mega Potion gives five times luck multiplier for one minute. So then for the recipe, this is kind of complicated, but this is the recipe for one thing. So what you'll need is item ID equals two. So we'll need item ID two. So which is luck potion. And that means we'll need amount two luck potions. So we'll need two luck potions for this. And we'll also need item ID one, which is metal. So we'll need four metal and then we'll need aura ID 10 and we'll need two of them, which aura ID 10 is placeholder. So we'll need two placeholder IDs, which are one in 200. And that's how you craft this. You can customize this to whatever you want. So you can make aura ID 21, and then and then you'll need to get two Dark Knights. So if you wanna make this Mega Potion actually work, what you have to do is go into the Usages script, which is in the same folder, and, and have the items script open as well. And you just wanna copy two and paste it, and then, and then set this to the ID that you want. So I'm trying to make a mega potion so I'm going to set this to ID 5 
and this is basically the preset for adding luck and the luck multiplier is going to be 5 and the duration is 60 seconds and the luck type is potion because well it's a potion and once you've done that you can just load into the game and your item will work now i'm going to use the command give item and then my name and the item was number five and then as you can see i've got the mega potion so this gives five times luck for one minute and I'm going to use that. And as you can see down here, I have five times luck. And somehow I still managed to get something that's one in three. <laughs> and then you can also get other multipliers, which is one on the island. But yeah, so that's how you add items. By the way, these usages are fully customizable. You can make any item do whatever you want. You can make it make the player fly or whatever. Now I'm going to be going through some of the stuff that the kit comes with. So to use the reset command, you just do reset and then the player you want to reset and that resets their aura inventory. And then I'm going to give myself all the auras. So I'm just going to type give my name and then all. And these are all the auras that come with the kit. So there's this one this one and this one to name a few but as you can see they don't come with the animations because you can't share animations on roblox you can also use crafting and you can craft the mega potion that you made earlier and all you have to do to craft is just add all of these to it but as you can see i don't have any metal and i don't have any of the cool aura next you can see we have an index and next i'm just going to reset myself and do next roll see and then 21 so as you can see it plays an animation and you can click keep now once you click on index you can see there's normal cool amazing and placeholder and then all of these are locked and with the next roll we got infinity and dark knight and as you can see they both work in here and amazing was the one that we made we didn't have to change anything and it automatically added it so as you can see i just gave myself the gauntlet and i can click on it in my inventory and click use and now you can see it's equipped in my hand and I'll click on my inventory gauntlet and use again and it unequips it. And as you can see, I have a luck boost in the bottom right corner when I have this equipped. Anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you like, make sure to like and subscribe and that's it. <laughs>